Camrail Secondary School Science Teacher, and I'm here to answer your questions. Crown wants to know about sexuality in other animal species, so let's talk about it. Homosexual activity and behavior has been documented in every multicellular organism on the planet who engages in sexual activity. Our closest relatives, chimps and bonobos, engage in homosexuality all the time. In fact, all bonobos are bisexual, and 60% of bonobo sexual activity is between two or more females. Homosexuality has been observed in all species of great apes and a number of species of primates. In bachelor groups of gorillas, homosexuality is used to strengthen bonding and cooperation. And between male lions, homosexuality is used to make a coalition in order to take charge of a pride. What about the rest of the animal kingdom? Well, 8 to 10 percent of rams are exclusively homosexual and 18 to 22 percent are bisexual. Homosexuality in penguins has been observed as early as 1911, and in 2010, a zoo in Germany actually tried to separate three pairs of male bonded penguins, but they were unsuccessful because their love was too strong. Plenty of organisms will engage in same-sex parenting, like albatrosses and black swans, and penguins in particular will find and rear abandoned eggs in same-sex couples. There are countless examples of non-reproductive sexual activity within the animal kingdom, so when people say that homosexuality isn't natural, they're not backed by the science or the facts. Now let's talk sexual orientation and DNA. There isn't a single gay gene, nor is there a group of genes that will lead to being LGBT. But we know that being a member of the LGBT community isn't a choice. Much like height or skin tone, everything in nature exists on a spectrum that's affected by both genetics and environment. What about evolutionarily? Well, anything that increases your fitness as an organism will become commonplace as it builds up in that species. Now to clarify, fitness means the ability to survive long enough to reproduce successfully, not physical fitness or intelligence. Purely from the standpoint of evolution, all sexual orientations make perfect sense. If you are heterosexual and fertile, you will be able to produce offspring, but only if you survive long enough to do so. If you're homosexual, you might not have offspring of your own directly, but you will have the social bonds and security required for human survival. Also, if you're homosexual and one of your heterosexual siblings produces offspring, you gain fitness by proxy. Humans that are bisexual might opt to reproduce with one mate and then rear their offspring in a same gender partnership or in a group, which humans have been doing since the dawn of time. And somebody who's asexual removes themselves for competition for mates while still being able to provide hunting, gathering, and protection, which is a pretty great survival strategy. Based on the genetics and evolution, heterosexuality is by no means the default for humans. In fact, human sexuality is highly fluid. But we live in a world that is rigorously heteronormative and where hate crimes against the LGBT community are commonplace. And that pigeonholes people into strict ideas about who they're allowed or supposed to be. And that isn't healthy for any of us. And we know that homosexuality has existed since the dawn of human civilization. Just look at ancient Rome, Greece, and Egypt. Though it's worth pointing out that these civilizations weren't as concerned with labeling everything the way we do today. As a quick aside, children raised by LGBTQ parents often have higher levels of self-esteem and fewer harmful internalized gender roles. This is likely because it's often more difficult for LGBT parents to get kids, especially if they're going through a route like adoption, so they're more fiscally and emotionally prepared for the responsibilities of child rearing. LGBTQ plus parents also often have fairer divisions of labor within their household, which their children see and normalize, unlike in heterosexual relationships, where all the cooking, cleaning, and emotional labor is often considered woman's work. So there you have it. Being LGBTQ plus is normal, natural, and found across the animal kingdom. If you've got a question you want answered, comment below, and remember, there's no room for shame when growing your brain.